About an hour ago on Flat Earth, Quantum Eraser was seen running away from a sextant. While on Nathan Oakley's Discord server, I asked Quantum Eraser about the 1.22 times the square root of the observer's height. As we can see here, he says it debunks the globe. As he has stated previously, that calculation globe or lie cannot be used in reality. Oddly though, that's the same calculation used for dip correction, which makes the nautical almanac and dip correction calculation wrong. The very same almanac and calculation that's been used for centuries by mariners all over the globe. I then asked why the correction tables do not match the geometry for a flat earth. As we can see here, he challenged me to come on the show. My reply was that I would come on after he showed a working course plot without ever using any of the R-based tables and calculations, that I would even give him a working sextant to confirm it. After that reply, the offer of the sextant was immediately deleted and I was timed out. So now we ask a very tough set of questions for the Flat Earth experts on celestial navigation. Why is it that every time I offer a sextant to prove their claim, I get blocked, banned, or timed out, and the offer gets deleted? Are sextants really that scary? Are actual sextants and actual course plots fatally poisonous to Flat Earthers? As Flat Earth medical professionals have refused to respond to these inquiries, we may never know. Until next time, this is Loki Fish Mars at Flat Earth Breaking News, keeping you up to date with the latest stories from Flat Earth. Good night all, and remember, according to Flat Earth experts, you can't determine the flatness of Flat Earth by looking at the sky. If you would like to keep your planet from being invaded, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, this is Loki Fish Mars.